Hello, Siti. Hello, Mr. Aris. You look excited and all geared up for today. Of course, Mr. Aris. I'm always looking forward for another coaching session from you. So nice to hear that you're excited about learning, Siti. So, what's our topic of discussion for today, Mr. Aris? Well, today, we're going to do one more exercise on information transfer. We're going to discuss another example of how to transfer information from a text to a given framework. Guess what, Mr. Aris? The exercises on this particular topic seem to have helped a lot in my daily life. How is that? Well, wherever I go, there will always be notices, posters, flyers, or signboards to read. Newspapers and magazines too have advertisements. This lesson has helped me to understand clearly the information that is given. If that is what you feel, I would say the purpose of teaching this lesson in school is working well. Consider them as part of our daily living skills. All right, Mr. Aris. I'm all geared up now. Very well. Let's continue. For this part of the question, the text can be presented in the form of an advertisement, a menu, a poster, a description, a label, a leaflet, or other types of presentations. So, Siti, look at today's question and tell me what it is all about. It's about choosing a pet from an advertisement, Mr. Aris. As usual, look at the information given carefully and note the differences between the three items. Yes, I can see them, Mr. Aris. So, complete the table by transferring the details into the boxes. All right, Mr. Aris. One, white. Two, 120 ringgit. Three, supermarket. Four, mail. Five, short, thick hair. Six, seventy ringgit. Seven, female. Eight, glossy short hair. Nine, greyish. Ten, pet shop. Very well. Once this task is completed, the important tips to note are usage of adjectives and adverbs to describe and support your choice. Tips on answering this question. An adjective is used 
to describe or modify a noun or pronoun to give more information about the size, shape, color, or age of a person, a place, or a thing. An adverb is used to modify or qualify a verb, an adjective, or another adverb to give more information about an action or the state of the action. Don't forget to pay attention to your tenses too. Your argument states facts. So use verbs to express possibility, intention, or ability. Examples of these model verbs are can, could, may, might, must, shall, should, will, and would. Conjunctions too may be used to show contrast between two sentences or two clauses and also to emphasize your choice. Some examples of conjunctions are although, however, in addition, furthermore, and so on. Check for mistakes in spelling, grammar, and punctuation. You will be assessed on your ability to transfer information accurately and to write a comparison. The comparison will be rated as excellent, credit, achievement, or low achievement depending on the use of language and ability to express ideas. You can use a variety of sentence structures and a wide range of vocabulary to express your ideas. Ideas must be clearly expressed, well presented and linked. Accurate use of spelling and punctuation is essential. Now let's look at the question again, Siti. It's about buying a pet, right? So when we talk about buying an animal for a pet, here are some useful ideas to take note. These sentences may be able to help you. For example, I like it. It is cute. It is easy to look after. It is easy to feed. It is easy to prepare its food. I can play with it. It can keep me company. It is easier to manage as it cleans itself. So, Siti, ready to write your comparison now? Yes, Mr. Aris. I think I have decided on choosing a cat. Very well. You must have your reasons for doing so, right? Perhaps, maybe you can list out some points to support your reasons. Well, the first thing is, I just love cats. Cute and lovable animals. Easy to feed. Playful. Good companion. Worth the price. So, your points are already there. You may start answering the question now. I would choose to buy a cat because I love cats. They are so cute and lovable. In addition, they are easy to feed. I can get their food from the supermarket. A cat makes a better companion too. I can play with it after coming back from school. Although it is more expensive, it is worth it. Furthermore, 
it is easier to manage compared to other animals. You seem to have answered so well, Siti. Thank you, Mr. Aris. By now, I am quite confident of what I am supposed to do when answering this type of question. Let's recap some of the important points. When writing your comparison, always give reasons why you have selected an item instead of the others. Use adjectives and adverbs to help you to describe and support your choice. Pay attention to your tenses. Use modal verbs and conjunctions in your sentences. Read your comparison after you have completed it and check for mistakes in spelling, grammar and punctuation. Use a variety of sentence structures and a wide range of vocabulary to express your ideas. So Siti, it's time to go now. Let's bid goodbye to our friends out there. And see you again. Bye. Bye-bye, friends. See you again soon. Bye. Bye.